Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got a recommendation for you, a book, Exorcism and the Battle Against Satan and His Demons by Father Vincent Lambert. Focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. Four thumbs up on this book. A little bit about Father Vincent Lambert. He's an American Catholic priest and designated exorcist of the Archdiocese of Indianapolis. He was appointed to become an exorcist by the Archbishop Daniel M. Bushlin. He's one of the few exorcists known to use social media like Twitter on a regular basis. One article he told the reporter He's fighting the devil by tweeting about exorcism. Needless to say, he is an expert in the world of exorcism. He speaks often and there's videos out on YouTube and you'll find some down in the comments. But what does Catholic mean? Hey, do not discount the book or Father Vincent Lambert because he's of Roman Catholic order. Our enemy Satan strives to divide us and confuse us from the truth. We use his labels for that. What do we mean when we say Holy Catholic Church? Well, you'll see, you know, Holy Catholic Church is in the Apostles' Creed. But our English word Catholic comes from the Greek and it basically means general or universal. Think of the Holy Catholic Church as the church universal or the body of Christ. Don't be discouraged about Roman Catholic. Know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And this book brings truth really does. When you read church, think Body of Christ. A must-see book. This exorcism and the battle against Satan and his demons, written by a man who is, works it every day. And you can find his book out on Amazon in paperback or Kindle. And I've got the Kindle version myself and I've used that for excerpts for this video. You can also find Father Vincent Lambert on YouTube in several different venues. But now the table of contents. Introduction, call to be an exorcist. Who is the devil? The extraordinary activity of the devil. What is an exorcism? Practical insight from the Gospel of Mark. The rite of exorcism. Playing the devil's game. American protocol and a diocesan protocol. The ordinary activity of the devil. A word to priests. Best practices to fend off the devil. The victory belongs to Christ, prayers, and selected bibliography. We're going to look at each chapter and a focus quote out of that chapter. So first, the introduction and the quote. The church is the bride of Christ that tells us our true dignity is found with God, and apart from God, the human person becomes distorted. The devil does everything in his power to destroy the church because he knows that if the church is eliminated, then we will get lost and stray from the path that God has laid out for us. The next chapter is the call to be an exorcist. We must realize that the presence of the devil is sharpened as humanity and society distance ourselves from God. Truthfully, 
One is either in a relationship with God or with something else. Next chapter. Who is the devil? The first of the fallen angels, Lucifer, was before the fall the most exalted of all the angels. After the fall, he became the chief of the evil spirits, now referred to as the devil or Satan. The word devil comes from the Greek word diabolos, which means adversary, slanderer, opposer. The word Satan comes from Hebrew and means accuser. Satan is a morally wicked creature hostile to both humans and God. The extraordinary activity of the devil. The devil is a conscious force who knows, wills, and pursues a destructive goal. One, he does everything to oppose the coming of the kingdom of God. If God is for something, the devil is against it. Father Gabriel Amroth says that the main goal of the devil is to distance us from God, from the sacraments, and from everything that is good. Number two, he does this by using specialized attacks against us that fall under the categories of infestation, vexation, obsession, and possession. I found that part fascinating reading. What is an exorcism? An exorcism is a specific form of prayer that the church utilizes to disrupt the devil's activity and to help those who have fallen under his power. He goes into great detail about it. Practical insight from the Gospel of Mark. Much can be learned from the Gospel of Mark about the ministry of exorcism. The fact that it is the first of the Gospels to be written and the author chose to put a strong emphasis on the practice of exorcism speaks to just how important it is. In Mark, there are four accounts of Jesus performing exorcisms. The man with an unclean spirit. Jesus heals the Gerasene demoniac. Sephro Phoenician woman's faith, the healing of a boy with a mute spirit. The rite of exorcism. The rite of exorcism, the church reenacts Christ's victory over Satan by literally throwing into the face of the demon the aspects of the Christian faith the devil has rejected. The devil's game. Playing the devil's game. And St. James says, Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 4, 7. Sad truth is, far too many people are given the devil an opportunity. They're not being sober and watchful in their faith. So very true. So very true. American Protocol and a Diocesan Protocol. The exorcist, in many ways, is trained to be a skeptic. I should be the last one to believe that someone is possessed. I must exhaust all reasonable explanations for what is taking place in the person. Therefore, experts in the medical and psychiatric sciences are always consulted. The ordinary activity of the devil. The devil's ultimate goal is to fracture our prayer life, faith life, moral life, sacramental life, and our relationship with one another in such a way that we are pulled further and further away from God. And boy, is he ever good at it, huh? And a word to priests. The devil knows those who are working to defeat him and will use many avenues to try to destroy the church. And by the way, this is a word to all pastors. 
and shepherds. The best practices to fend off the devil. The best defense against the force of evil is for each of us to live out our faith and grow in our relationship and commitment to Jesus Christ. The devil cannot touch us if we are living for the Lord. The victory belongs to Christ. I've chosen to publicize my identity to better educate people about this important ministry. Talking about the ministry takes the mystique away from the practice of exorcism and allows people to know that they should not be afraid to approach the church if they feel that something demonic has taken place in their lives. Prayers. Uh, Father Lampert lists several prayers and of course the, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but to deliver us from evil. It's not so much the words though, it's got to come from a person living a holy life. You, you've got to be strong in the Lord and Father Lambert explains that completely that you have got to be prepared and clean and it's fascinating reading. It really, really is. I highly, highly recommend it. So check it out. Exorcism the battle against Satan and his demons. Hope this video was useful to you. The review of Exorcism, the battle against Satan and his demons by Father Vincent Lambert. Four thumbs up. Here to see, focusing on pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult and instructions for a better life. Hey, Post your questions and experiences below. Uh, what do you know about uh, exorcisms? What's your thoughts? Have you read the book? And read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to receive forgiveness and talk to God about it. You can talk to Him about anything. He really loves you. He does. He wants you to be free. So seek Him. And... See you, see you on some future videos.